don't depend on one place. What I do, I park them in a different place. If something goes wrong with one website, okay, I'm okay in some of them. And multiple control of that cloud location by several different powerful entities. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Usually, yeah, it's monopolized. Yes, that's correct. So Web2 is not a weapon of mass destruction. It's an, uh, just uh, you know, trying to make a point. And uh, now you may ask me that, what does it all mean to us? So this was just the introduction for my lecture. Actually, I haven't started my uh, lecture. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get your attention. So this is the outline for my lecture. Uh, I have over 1,000 uh, slides. I will, uh, I will not cover, or I can't cover all of them. I'm going to just tease you. My presentations, usually I tell them is a tease. So this is the basically, if I have the time, I do the workshop for faculty, uh, for the uh, invocations and uh, many other um, professional uh, development uh, courses and stuff. So when I have the time, I go through all these. But I'm going to tease you with a few of these things, that what is the concept of push and pull, and uh, web one, web two, web three, and so on, and the concept, technologies, applications, and talk about social networking, media, uh, bookmarking, uh, I will give you also, please don't forget, since you made the time and effort to come here, I have 101 uh, Web2 uh, uh, websites that at the end of uh, session we will pass around. If I forget it, please remind me. So I have the handout here. So I will give you the list for you. Emerging technologies, and um, then how can, uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, how can it work for uh, teachers, librarian, information uh, professionals? And uh, finally, uh, if I have the time, talk about teaching and learning. So I will touch on some of these. I, it won't be elaborate because time is limited. And uh, therefore, um, I will just uh, leave you with a lot of questions before